versus focusing on um, the benefit because you have your diploma. Can you share how long did it take you to get your diploma? It took me three years to get my diploma because mm -hmm. I had a lot of different obstacles in the between time. Mm -hmm. And when I was finally able to actually stay stable, mm -hmm. um, it was chaotic. Yeah. Very chaotic. <laughs> I mean, it's my honest opinion. Yeah. But I did push through it with Miss Keys. Um, she was actually in support of that. And, you know, I don't think I would be here if it hadn't been for Miss Keys. Oh, girl, don't make me cry on camera. Miss <laughs> um, Keys is one of the biggest supporters that we have at Twin Rivers. Um, so I think for the most part, um, I looked up to her, oh, um, and I kind of like pushed all my other stuff to the side and was like, okay, I want to be where she's at today. Oh. So yeah, it's kind of what motivated me. Oh. So Leah, can you share with us your, your like your long-term goal and a little bit about your business? Okay, so my long-term goal would be to open up my business. Um, it's called uh, Rose Alexander Ahar Foundation, and what we are, um, how you say, uh, offering is help with the community, um, people coming from trauma. Um, you know, and when I mean trauma, I don't mean just you know abuse and um, domestic violence. I mean runaways and um, elderly abuse. Um, and may, the main part of our um, organization will be the bringing back families together. And I think that is just the most important thing that um, we as a community need to come together and work with. And your educational goal, goals long-term, what does that look like? My long-term educational goal is to become an MFT. Um, be amazing so that I can help other families um, who went through CPS, um, you know, trauma, um, stuff like that. So it's one of the big reasons why I'm still attending the college and why I wanted to move forward in my high school completion. Mm -hmm.